This is part 15 already of my building the Black Pearl All Scenario version. So let me give you a flyover and show you what I've accomplished in the last few days. And I keep saying I'm going on vacation, but I get more done. But officially tomorrow morning, I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. Starting at the front of the ship, I've put some of the uh, supports that will hold the belaying pins uh, for some of the rigging work. So I've just started that. I did finish putting all these rails on. I'm guessing this is an emergency climb up ladder. Put it in place. These are already here. And going back top side, although not complete, this is just sitting here. Uh, I do have it constructed. It's got a few more things. It'll have some chains that loop on it. And these staircases are all done. These are the statues that I mentioned I would do in gold leaf, and that is completed. I've got some cabinetry work done. Again, these things are just sitting here. This, the, the captain's wheel, has not really been installed yet, but it is constructed. I have a little problem back here where my symmetry was not correct so I've added a piece of wood and I may plank this all the way up so I can get a better loop or a rounded segment here undecided on that but when I redid the lights I've kinda of got them off centered a little bit so I'll take that off camera because I don't really want to show it to you even though I said those two statues were the only gold that I was going to do remember I did the back windows here but now I've also decided to gold leaf this artwork. So that's been put in place. I don't think that much over here has changed other than again I finished these uh, rub strips that are on the sides. I've given another coat of tongue oil and I also did another coat of tongue oil on the upper deck and you can see it's gotten a little richer color to it. I like the model look with a little bit darker in different places. I think that's more natural and I may do some more of that as time goes on. This is looking into the captain's quarters from directly behind the ship. I'll pivot around to the side here and you can see the different lighting effects, which I'm very happy with all of that. Somewhat difficult to see, but they do look like lanterns in the distance. Happy with all of that. Front view of the entrance to the captain's quarters. The doors are currently shut, and the stairs do uh, somewhat block the lights a little bit, but that's okay. That's, that's natural. I also took and see these dark marks I took a, 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 an old screwdriver, the thing that I used to make it look like there are segments in the planks, superheated it and then actually burned the wood. And I may do that different places. Several months ago, shopping in the grocery store, I happened to see these bamboo skewers. They were only a dollar. So I just picked them up because they were a nice, smooth round to them. And I thought maybe they'd come in handy for model ship building. So it just happens that they're just about the right space for the spindles of the top staircase. So I just took one of the bamboo skewers, cut it into five little pieces, and used it as a spacer to help get these in approximately the right position. I did maneuver them a little bit afterwards, tried to follow the curve, didn't do perfectly well, I guess, but I tried. The next step will be to glue these on top of those. I have the railing in place and those fit in there nicely. I struggle making staircases and stairs. I made myself a little cheat tool. I put the uh, frames in and then took these little pieces of wood on this side where I glued it. So I can lay that under it, glue the little step in place 
and that gives me the space I want and once it dries I can work my way up the staircase. I had mentioned using these spacers but as I started to use them when I got a second level I realized they were too tall. So I switched to this smaller, this is about two millimeters in thickness and actually it should probably be three so it really should have been about about half the thickness of what I started out with on this one. Part of the reason I make these video series is it is a rolling log of what to do and when for myself for future builds. The two cannons that are below each staircase are very difficult to get to especially after the staircase is in place. Fortunately I noticed it as I was building so I stopped adding the stairs and I could reach through here and remember I used those nails so I was able to drill the hole get the nail in place and I have the base for the cannon in place and I can insert the barrel through the cannon opening window but it would be much nicer to have done it before I put the ladders in place then I could have done the proper rope work what I think I will do I've got a couple ropes attached and when you think about it, cannons underneath a stairwell will just collect a bunch of junk. So I'll probably add some junk under those stairs. This staircase, this railing and these spindles are incredibly difficult to manage and get on. And uh, each one of these consists of three pieces. And then the top and the bottom have to be slanted. The top is pre-slanted. The bottom you're supposed to cut to fit. I thought maybe pre-assembling this and then putting it on the staircase might be the way to go, but no, it's not. And the hint is right here. When you install, after you've got the stairs in place, which I do, it shows the rail being next. But again, that's on a page after it shows all of this. So that's where it gets a little confusing. Here's the pieces that go together. That little bitty top piece, and I'll show it to you in a minute. The, the decorative spindle, and then the lower part that attaches to the uh, staircase itself. Here's the best solution I've come on how to put them together. You can see the, the lower one is assembled, and the upper one I'm about to assemble. I've taken a piece of wax paper and taped it on the table for my bandsaw because it is such a flat surface. And I don't know that matters which piece you do first, but super glue will not stick to this wax paper. So I'm putting a dot on that. And then I'm going to move this into position and just touch it. These have a certain slant, so there's the way I want it. Another drop on this. And now I'm going to set it down and slide it into place. For the handrails, I tape them here on the bottom to hold them approximately in place. And then I used a combination of uh, the Gorilla Glue that I use and then just a touch of CA or super glue to hold it in place. It's dried overnight so that's pretty stable. And now I can take this off and I'm hoping that I can flex this over to attach it to this. Same thing on the other side. This one's in a little better position. It's already resting against that so I'm happy with that. Well, this is proof that it actually can be done, but it was a lot of work. And um, they give you extra ones. I've got some extra ones sitting around here. And what I ended up doing is this angle I would match down here. So I took my little um, miniature sander, and I would actually hold it with a pair of... Uh, clamping scissors and that angle right there I would match on the lower part so basically I'd be sanding like this and come up that angle and it worked out pretty well glue's not quite dry yet 
and I don't mind them looking old. And some of you know I bought recently bought a um, airbrush. So if there's any imperfections I don't like or if the glue is showing, like maybe here, see the shiny parts on the steps? I might try taking the airbrush and just coating that with a fine mist of, of black or some dark color. That's what my plans are for the airbrush. But uh, So the stairs are done, just waiting for them to set up and dry. I'm getting ready to make these pedestals for the two statues that go on either side of the uh, entrance to the captain's quarters. And I went ahead and gold leafed these with the 24 karat gold. These are the only two that I will do in gold. And I, they'll be back in the shadows, so I think that'll be make it a little bit unique. And I like the idea of using the gold. The instructions say to round these pedestals off. And there are four included. You only need two. So what I'm thinking is, I don't know if that was their intent, but if I glue them together then I can round it off and make it look like a round pedestal. So I don't know if that's what their intent was, but that's what I'm going to try and do. Here are the pedestals, and I'm convinced that's what the designer intended for a person to do, is to join them together and then round that lower part. Let's see if you can make so you can see it better. Uh, I spent a couple hours just making these two little things, but I think in the long run, it will be worth it. I don't know that I'm done. I'm trying to decide. I think they were designed to fit on this way. But I could round, make it a little better round shape and do it this way. So I'll decide that in the next few minutes. Let me show you how I actually did this in case you're interested in saving some time and work. Because as I went on, the second one went faster than the first. After I glued them together and they dried, then I took this rotary tool and very carefully, and this has just like a sanding disc on it, and I cut out this top edge all the way around, and then I did the same thing. I say cut out, I should say by cut out, I mean I just predetermined the depth that I wanted to go, top and bottom. Then I took a series of just small hand files and began rounding that. Now from this angle it is rounded. If I turn it this way I've got more work to do because it's not really exactly round. Here are my two choices and the, the bases have not been stained yet. The instruction book, if you look at it, it looks more like it would be the one on the left. But I set it sideways and I like that better. So I'm going to go ahead and stain them up and put them in place. Once you're in the second book, which is poll two, I'm up to photo number, I think it's 22, and I could use some clarification. So this is a good time to get out the full-size blueprint. And it's, it's really simple, but this gives you a lot better clarification. It was just this piece here. For, because there's the same parts are used back on the back of the ship, but it has some supports. And so the one in the back of the ship has the supports and the one towards the front does not. It was somewhat clear because there's a couple little recessed openings where the posts go. Do you remember me being so proud of myself about getting this piece G12 off that placard using my bandsaw and how I didn't break it? Well, it goes right here and it was supposed to be put on before the stairs. Fortunately for me, I'm going to be able to slide it in the cannon window to the other side and it goes, well you get the idea. You have to trim the edges just a little bit. I've done it once already. Well, yeah, it might go. And unfortunately, that's not the only part that I missed. I did a similar thing for these two parts. I think that's 22 A and B. And they would be the floor of the, I think it's the middle deck. 
straight down from here and they would uh, be the floor. If a lowly pirate were in the front of the ship, they would fall all the way to the bottom. There's no way I can get the, those in that I know of unless, no, I'm just going to leave it. It is in the instructions. There's a photo of these being put in place. I just missed it. Fortunately for me, it's not really visible. I was able to get it into place. It's had enough time to set up now so I can take this clamp off. And all is well. So this will be it for segment 15 of my Building the Black Pearl and as I say every episode. Thanks for following along and watching.